Pool Channel, where we bring you back to back update and information as it the hot. I um, in case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, uh, you go be the first. Well, collector, I greet you all of us of freedom all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time and where you are listening to us from. Uh, the information where they my table now, they jiggy and janjaro or sassy they go. Uh, IPOB has banned Independence Day celebration in South East. Said it is Biafra land uh, that Independence Day celebration is not going to hold on that part of the country. Uh, me don't shell Of course, you know that um also uh, the Prime Minister of the Biaf uh, Biafra Republic government in exile in the person of uh, Mazi Simon Eba Njoko declared a three weeks uh, sit at home and curfew in the southeastern part of Nigeria, also known as Biafra land. And that is still ongoing. And before that, remember that I brought to you an information where we say they kidnapped uh, one uh, retired army general like that. And the people, they point and say that the Biafra Liberation Army now then do that one according to Sahara News. Meanwhile, let's go down to what is happening uh, as IPOB has banned Independent Day celebration in the southeastern part of Nigeria. The indigenous people of Biafra on Friday said it will not allow the Nigerian Independent Day celebration in the southeast. The group said events in the country as spearheaded by its leadership in the past 63 years did not show southeast was part of Nigeria, stressing anyone seen celebrating the Nigerian flag independence in Biafra land will regret his or her life. It further called on the governor of the region and other political leaders to shun the exercise, saying no Nigerian flag will be hoisted in the zone on October 1st. The group directed the group director media and publicity Emma Powerful said this is a statement on Friday, a copy of which was made available to punch. The statement read the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, heavily led by the Supreme Leader Mazi Namde Kano, hereby call on Biafrans both home and in diaspora to show participation in the Nigeria Independence Day celebration on the 1st of October 2023. Every sensible Biafran must understand that Nigeria detests Biafrans, particularly Ndi Igbo. Nigeria has rejected all our efforts to be treated as equal equal citizens. Nigeria has marginalized Biafrans politically and economically. Since Nigeria has rejected us, we have also rejected Nigeria and her celebrations. The Nigerian government and Nigerian citizens have time after time demonstrated that we are not part of them, and therefore we must do everything possible to liberate ourselves from the bondage of Nigeria. Even a fool would have to come to realization that Nigeria is not for Ndibo and Biafrans after the shenanigans that they call the 2023 election. As Nigeria's government plans to celebrate her flag independence from Britain, we advise Eastern Region governors and political leaders to shun the October 1st independence celebration in our region. More also, we advise Biafrans not to attend any independence celebration anywhere within Biafra territory or outside it. Hence, IPOB has banned the Independence Day celebration and flying of Nigeria flag in any part of Biafra land on October 1st, 2023. After 63 years of flag independence of Nigeria from Britain, there is nothing to show for it. Ordinary electricity, security, or good roads Nigeria can provide for her citizens. As little as conducting free and fair election has been impossible in the most fanatical, corrupt nation in the world called Nigeria. Every institution in Nigeria has been polluted and corrupted by bribery and stealing. It further maintained the leader of the country we are paying leap service towards the protection of lives and property. Adding, Nigeria is a destiny destroyer 
for all nations inside the East and every citizen therein. Other smaller African nations can boast of providing a safe, secure, and productive country for their citizens. But Nigeria keeps going from bad to worse. Nigeria is a destiny destroyer for all nations inside the East and every citizen therein. Ndibo has gotten nothing from Nigeria but destruction, mass murder in cold blood without provocation. Since 1945 till date, Ndibo have always been killed, and their properties have been destroyed in every part of Nigeria. Nigeria is a pain to Ndibo, and we do not want to continue in British, imposed pain and suffering. How can you continue to celebrate a nation that murdered your ancestors and keep murdering, detaining, and discouraging your people with so, so much hatred? Anyone seen celebrating the Nigeria flag independence is be, in Biafra land will regret his or her life. Once again, we maintain that there will not be any celebration of Nigeria's flag independence in our local government councils and states. No school principal or head should not mobilize Biafra children to celebrate the Evo Nigeria Independence Day on October 1st or the other, or they will have themselves to blame. Every Biafran is expected to stay at home and refresh him or herself or go about their daily businesses on October 1st, 2023. No Nigerian flag are allowed to fly in Biafra territory. If you want to go to the market or business on October 1st, you are free to go without molestation as long as it has nothing to do with Nigerian independence celebration. IPOB is a child of necessity for the birth of Biafra and nothing will stop us from pursuing Biafra independence via a referendum and diplomatic engagement, said Emma Powerful, the spokesperson of the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, my people, welcome back. Uh, when I don't see us, it they happen, I see the shell. Uh, it don't patoy, it don't don dum, it don't potole. And I am up half with the talk this one. Mm, you know, before uh, as you know, the work was already solved. Um, and I said that uh, Emma powerful has been you know for some time now. Uh, you know, being very cool, I think um, he was being the good guy, uh, like the good boy that um, the government can use and manipulate and the rest of them. Meanwhile, why Simon Eber has decided to be the good tough guy or something like that. But as you go, um, October 1st uh, has been declared uh, the Independent Day celebration. And that day is supposed to be a public um, holiday, a public holiday um, in the sense uh, that schools and businesses, offices uh, are not supposed to open on that day. Uh, but Manzi, he my powerful, don't carry come in, say, hmm. Say that day, make nobody, uh, in no one, they no one see any flag of NIG make it a fly, or even the local government schools or any offices. Say anybody will do that one, say, he ain't go using I see what he do for, to himself, oh. <laughs> uh, na oga, he my powerful, uh, will be saying, say, na him be the spokesperson, uh, for indigenous people of Biafra and also the media and public secretary, and uh, I they bring that that was a talk. He say that day he go be no go area. Uh, say even if you have the flag, uh, make you know who is that flag. Oh, see that one. No follow. Now in Imo State, Imo governorship primary, Supreme Court dismisses at an attorney suit, asks Basel to withdraw motion. Of course, you know that um, in Labour Party, there has been a division uh, between the man they call a papa and the other Labour Party chairman. So as it stands now, Labour Party is a kind of divided. And in Imo State, there are two candidates that Labour Party has. They have Achono, uh, who is on the side of P2B, and also uh, Basel, who is on the side of um, a papa, a man called a papa, who took P2B to court the other day. And the outcome was something else, of course, you know, as Nigeri. Uh, and I'm only the talk. So, a papa na ch chairman of Labour Party for some people, why another person be chairman of Labour Party for other people? Now, for the same party, Ah, he might get one song where woman sing. Or he sing, I say, in a channel, Gadema, it's on a cow and enjoy. In a channel, Gadema, it's on a cow and enjoy Nigeria, Kwemeta. Inu wa e kwe meta. Ndi ana che kwe meta. Ndi ana che kwe meta. 
Uh, you know that kind of song. And if you look at that song, you know, go no send it through because the more uh, where we they hope, they say, make we wait, get patient, say country go better. And uh, the more we country, the bad bad do. Meanwhile, I see they go, and I hear I go to wind down the curtain, and if not the first time, I will be saying you the carry body too. Kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for listening. God bless you.